to campaign 2016, the lingering issue tonight of trust continues to follow Hillary Clinton on the campaign trail. Some of her fundraising events are now coming under fire. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with details. Dave? Clinton expected to rake in 10 million maybe during her California visit, maybe even more than that. No one expects the presidential candidates are going to start welcoming cameras, microphones, and a parade of reporters to watch their multi million dollar fundraisers like the ones Hillary Clinton held today in Southern California. But the Associated Press reported this week that Clinton has turned back the clock on big fundraisers and locked out news reporters entirely, reversing, they say, a decade of greater transparency in presidential campaigns. I want to just express my gratitude to everybody who made this such an amazing event. Before kicking off her flurry of campaign fundraisers in California, Hillary Clinton raised about a million and a half dollars at this fundraiser on Cape Cod, Massachusetts last Sunday. The room was packed and legendary singer and entertainer Cher was one of the speakers and had plenty to say about Donald Trump. And he doesn't mean either we want to make America great again. He means we want to make America straight and, and, and white. <laughs> the cell phone video you're watching was shot by an audience member who donated at least a couple thousand dollars to be there. And but as you, you can hear, that. he was there asked to turn off the video by a campaign it? staffer still photos only. We're not perfect, but we're not. That's right. No video. No video. Still photos only. Clinton's fundraisers are shrouded in secrecy, contrary to fundraising events held by fellow Democrat President Barack Obama since 2008, according to the Associated Press. Republican political consultant Reed Galen says GOP fundraisers were also open to limited coverage. When I worked for President Bush, there was typically what we called a pool that attended most fundraisers. You know, usually a still photographer, one writer, perhaps a TV crew. Um, they might not have attended the most intimate events, you know, perhaps a photo op or a very, very small um, gathering. But for those larger events, certainly there would be some part of the press corps that would be covering them. But Clinton, who was already facing tabloid headlines like this because of the allegations involving the Clinton Foundation and her private email server, and who hasn't held a full-blown news conference in more than 260 days, doesn't allow media coverage in any form at any of her fundraisers, raising more questions about why all the secrecy and what's she hiding. People are absolutely going to interpret that the reason she will not actually let people into the fundraisers is because she is somehow trying to hide something. And so I think part of the logic on her side is if they're going to misinterpret what I say anyway, um, then why don't I just do what I'm most comfortable with, which is work behind the scenes and reach out to voters. It certainly hasn't affected Clinton's close relationship with Hollywood. At a fundraiser held Tuesday, the stars turned out for Clinton, we think. Since among those scheduled to be there were Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel, Shonda Rhimes, Tobey Maguire, and Jennifer Aniston. Timberlake even tweeted out these fun-loving photos from the fundraiser, which was held at his home. Hillary Clinton is desperate to cover up her crimes. But Donald and Trump isn't exactly the poster child for transparency either. He's still refusing to release his tax returns, and like Clinton, he also doesn't allow any media coverage of his private fundraising events. So the bottom line is we don't know what either of the two major presidential candidates is saying to their big money campaign contributors. And at a time when the argument could be made, transparency has never been more important. It's AWOL at their fundraising events. Jeff? Lena? Dave, yeah, when it comes to transparency or the lack thereof, is this going to be an important issue for voters when it comes to the November election, you think? It's possible, okay. but I'm thinking probably not. It's unlikely, I think, because neither candidate is allowing the media to cover their fundraisers in any capacity, so neither one can attack the other for hiding in the shadows. But what it could do is it could make both major party candidates even less appealing to undecided voters since the polls show both candidates are already rock bottom when it comes to trustworthiness and honesty in the eyes of the voters. In the short run, it may damage Clinton more since right now she's still having to deal with the foundation allegations and the email questions. But realistically, what's the alternative for Democratic voters, Lena?